Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 214 Granny Square of our 365 Days of Granny Squares. This one is so fun. It's another Pokemon inspired Granny Square and the written pattern is by Carol, just like yesterday's Granny Square with the Pokeball, but today is Pikachu. How fun is that? So we could, you know, combine the two squares yesterday's square and today's square and make a whole blanket. I think that would be so fabulous for any Pokemon lover. But uh, this square today we are going to need four different colors. I'm using yellow, then black, and then we're using white and red. So uh, I'm using these four colors today to make Pikachu. But then I was thinking later on when I was making this that actually if you didn't want to make Pikachu, if you're not a Pokemon lover, I don't know who, who, who isn't a Pokemon lover, but if you aren't, you could make this into a little teddy bear. And that would be kind of cute if you made it in brown or something. Uh, just a cute little little tip on uh, making this square today. But this was a lot of fun to make. And uh, those are the colors I'm using. I'm using all Red Heart Super Saver yarns. So uh, you can get any 10 ply yarn, any size 4 medium yarn. You can use a double uh, knitting yarn, DK yarn, if you want to. Um, uh, but I'm going to use Red Heart Super Saver. And we're demonstrating with a 5 millimeter hook today. So make sure that you have that handy as well as a yarn needle and a scissor because we'll be cutting our yarn, sewing in our ends, and embroidering. We're going to be embroidering Pikachu's face today. So make sure that you have your yarn needle handy. Yep, make these cute little eyes and the cheeks, mouth, nose there and the ears we're embroidering as well, these little tips of the ears. So make sure you have your yarn needle today to make this square uh, and embroider the face of Pikachu on there. Before we start, I do want to mention there are other links in the description of this video. So not only is Carol's written pattern in there, but also there's a link to my blog, yarnutopia.com, where you'll get all 365 days of granny squares. You can click the photo and it will take you to the video tutorial. And then at the bottom of the blog, there's a link to all of the ones that have written patterns available to you. So you'll see number 214 and it will be the Pikachu square and you can follow along. Also, there's a link to my Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you follow me on both platforms. <laughs> and then also you can uh, share your photo. Make sure to hashtag 365 days of granny squares, hashtag yarn utopia so I can see your squares. And I'll go double tap your squares and comment on my favorite, my favorite Pikachus out there. <laughs> also, uh, you can follow me on Snapchat. I'm yarn utopia on there. And one last thing I have to say a big thank you to my dad, Fuadazma, for taking the time to make these squares and make all of our videos with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos so make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can get the update on when he posts our next video so let's get started new month new square number 214 granny square <laughs> okay to start off we're gonna start with yellow yarn and we're gonna make a slip knot so put your short end over your long end fold that down and then pull that through and then pull that short end tight just like that and insert your hook and we can start. Now it, obviously if you know how to do the magic ring you can start that way as well but I'm just going to start this way and we are going to chain four so yarn over pull through one two three four and then we're going to come all the way to the beginning chain right here this first chain and we're going to make a slip stitch in there so insert your hook yarn over pull through and pull through just like that. So now we've created a ring. Now going on to round number one, we're going to chain up four. So yarn over, pull through one, two, three, and four. And that counts as our first treble crochet of this round. Now we're going to insert two treble crochets into this ring here. So yarn over twice. For a treble crochet, go in to the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Okay, so that's a treble crochet. Again, yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to make Pikachu's ear. So we're going to chain five. One, 
two, three, four, and five. And now what we're going to do to come back down is we're going to come down to this treble crochet right here. We're going to come down th through the front of it, through the post, around the post, just like this. And we're going to slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through and pull through. Okay, so that loop creates Pikachu's ear, just like that. Okay, and I promise it'll look better once we continue going. So now we're going to put four treble crochets back into this ring down here. So yarn over twice, go down into this ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so that was one, yarn over twice, make another treble crochet, this is two, and another one, three, and one more for four. And then we have to make Pikachu's other ear. Okay, so we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to come back to this previous stitch that we just made right here, and we're going to slip stitch around it. So go down into this side of the post, around this post, just like that, yarn over, pull through, and pull through, just like that. So now we have both of Pikachu's ears done. But now we still have to make nine more treble crochets into this ring here. So yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, if you need to count back, you should have 18 treble crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I only have 16, so I need to add two more. So you should have 18 stitches in total. Just like that. Okay, so I added two more to have 18 stitches. Now we're going to slip stitch to the beginning chain of three here, one, two, or I'm sorry, chain of four, one, two, three, four, way at the top here, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. All right, so this is what Pikachu is going to look like. You can pull the straggler here in the center, in the back here, to close this middle, and that's where we're going to actually embroider the nose later. We're going to be embroidering the face here but we have to finish making the square first. So now I'm going to fasten this off and change my color to black. So chain one, cut your yarn, pull it through, pull tight, insert your hook into any stitch around. I'm just gonna go right where we fastened off. Grab the new color, I'm gonna choose black at this point here. So chain, or hook that on your hook and then chain up one. So yarn over, pull through. Going on to round two, we are going to put two single crochets into each stitch around. So go into the same stitch that we just attached to, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so that's a single crochet. Go back into the same stitch that we just attached to, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so we put two single crochets in there. Hop to this next stitch right here and put two single crochets in there. Okay, then we're going to work behind this uh, ear here. You want to move this kind of forward. And we're going to go right into this next stitch right here. So you can see the stitch is right here. I don't know if you can really see that. But we're going to go in like right behind the ear. Okay, so we made our, our front post or our front slip stitch around it. So if you have to move this forward, kind of move it down, 
Or you can just single crochet in the back of the ear. It doesn't really matter. But go in to the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And again, go back in and make another single crochet. Then hop to this next stitch right here and make two single crochets in there. Okay. Then next stitch, two single crochets. Next stitch, two single crochets. And now this next stitch is this uh, behind this ear here. You want to go in. Oops. It's going to be a little difficult behind the ears, but you'll be able to find it. Just find a loop behind the ear. There we go. And make two single crochets in there. And then just continue on working two single crochets into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have 36 single crochet. So I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round three. All right, when you have two single crochet in each stitch around, we want to slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through. Now I'm going to fasten off this color. Uh, I think if you're if you're not changing color or if you are, you should fasten off anyway because we need to start making the square shape and it's going to be in a different spot. So chain one, cut your yarn and pull that through, pull it tight. And now when you're looking at your little Pikachu here like this, okay, so this is what it should look like. We want to start our corner kind of near where to this ear is, okay? Or you can start on this side, or down here, or over here. So one of these spots has to be where the corner is. So if you see where our beginning chain up four is from round one right here, that's the perfect side, okay? So that's where I fastened off this last round, actually. Now we want to count five stitches up from that. Actually, well, from this second round, though, because there's 36 stitches around, divided by four, is nine okay so there's if you count from where you ended nine stitches will be right at the top here okay so there should be 18 stitches on one end, on this first half and then 18 stitches on this bottom half so we want to start in the center of this first quarter okay if you turn this into a pie okay we're going to start in the center corner right here to make our corner so we're going to count five stitches because that would be the center stitch of our nine here so I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and five right in here. I'm going to go in. Okay? If that didn't make sense, I guess you can just start anywhere on this round to make your corner. And if your Pikachu turns out a little sideways, you'll know what you did wrong. And you can change your square if you want it to be a straight little, or if you want it to be sideways, that's totally fine. It's the creator's choice. But we're starting right here. We're going to hook on our new color. I'm just going to use white at this point. And we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And now we're going to make our square shape. So in the same stitch that we're working in, we're going to put two double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. So you had to make two of those. So that was one. So yarn over, go back into the same stitch we attached to, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to chain two, one and two, and in the same stitch that we were working in, we're going to put three double crochets in the same stitch. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, now just like yesterday's square, we're going to skip two stitches and put three double crochets into the next stitch. One, two, three. Then we're gonna skip two stitches and put three double crochets into the next stitch. One, two, three, and then skip two stitches. And in the next stitch, we're going to make our next corner. So we're going to put three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet, all in the same stitch. Okay, so six 
stitches in the same stitch. So three double crochet, chain two, and then three more double crochet in there. One, two, three. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat. So chain, uh, skip these two stitches here, put three double crochets in the next stitch, skip two stitches, put three double crochets in the next stitch, then skip two stitches and make your corner. And then just repeat. So if you need to follow along with the written pattern, uh, otherwise I'll just continue that and I'll work uh, all the way around here and then I will meet you up at the end of round three. We'll go right into round four. All right, when you're finished th with this round, just skip these last two stitches here and then slip stitch to the beginning chain of three. One, two, three, right in here. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and through. Now, if you're changing color, you can fasten off and start in any corner here, but I'm going to just slip stitch into these next two stitches because I'm not gonna change color. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through and go into the corner and do the same thing, okay? And now we're gonna start in the corner. We're going to chain up three, one, two, three, and make our beginning corner. So that's two double crochet, one and two, then chain two, one, two, and then two, uh, three double crochet into the same space here. One, two, and three. Okay, and this is goes for round four and five, okay, same thing. Then we're gonna hop into each gap here and put three double crochets into each one of those gaps. Okay, so right in between the groupings of double crochets, we're putting three double crochets. Okay, just like that. Hop to the next one and three double crochets. Okay. And then just continue doing that. And then in the corner, we're putting three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. And I'm actually going to do that for rounds four and five. Okay, so I'm going to meet you up when I finish round five, and we're going to go on to round six, which is our last round together. All right, when you finish round five, you just want to slip stitch to the beginning chain of three here, yarn over, pull through and through. And now we're gonna change color. I am going to fasten off this color. So chain one, cut that, pull it through, pull tight. You could end here, but I'm going to just add a red outline here. So hook on the new color in the corner, chain up one, and we're going to do a single crochet round. And in the corners, we're going to put uh, three single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, single crochet, just like we did round two. So another one, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And again, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so there's three single crochets in the corner. Then we're going to single crochet in each stitch across here. So that should be 18 stitches. So if you want to count or you can just single crochet in each stitch across until you get to the corner. And in the corners, we're putting three single crochets. So just do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up and we'll be fastening off and then we can finally make Pikachu actually look like Pikachu. All right, when you come back around, you want to slip stitch to the beginning, single crochet right here, go in, yarn over, pull through and through, and now we can fasten off. So chain one, cut that yarn, pull it through, pull tight, and now is where we're gonna need our, our yarn needle quite a bit. I'm gonna sew in my ends here. Uh, you wanna sew in all your ends, weave them in, just hide them all. So I'm just gonna go underneath here. And now we are going to use our uh, black and red yarns to make Pikachu's face. So stretch this out, cut this extra. All right, so what we need to do is embroider the face. So we're going to use black first. We're going to make Pikachu's ears first here. So yarn your needle with the black. Now we're gonna go from behind our square, okay? And I'm going to tack down these, um, these ears here. You don't have to tack them down, you could just go in the loop here and kind of just like wrap around, just making the tips of his ears 
or Pikachu's ears. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, I guess. So you could just go like that. Oh, actually, maybe I'll just do that. You could tack them down to totally up to you. This is creator's choice part right here. So I'm just going to wrap around into this loop just like that. Okay, that should be enough. And then we're going to cut this. Okay, I'm going to tie a little knot in the back behind the ear. I might even tack it down still, so we'll decide in a second. Okay, so I'm just going to tie a little knot back there, and then I might, I'm might i just going to go back behind the square, into the square, with that side, and I'm going to yarn my needle with this other straggler, and go through this side, okay, then I'm going to flip this over, tie this in a knot, okay, one more. And then I'm going to sew in these straggler ends here. So I'm just going to go yarn this needle. Okay. And then I'm just going to go underneath these stitches. Okay. You don't even need a whole lot. So I'm just going to go down once and then cut this like that. Stretch it out, make sure that's completely hidden. And there's one ear done. So I'm going to do the other ear off camera because you just have to do it the same exact way. I'll show you how to do the eyes and the mouth, and then we'll do the cheeks as well in red. But the eyes and the mouth um, and the nose are all in black. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to start with the nose because that's the center, and we're going to go from the back of our work. Okay, and actually I'm going to start from this side. It's really, you're going to really have to eyeball this, okay? And um, embroidering is not super easy, so you want to just go from the back of your work, okay, through, and then over to this side, and push that through. Okay, then we're going to come down. Here. I'm just making a little triangle going back up into this part right here. Okay, we're making a triangle. Upside down triangle. And then we're going to come back down to this bottom tip right here where my thumb is. Let's see if I can get there. You might have to turn this around so you can see where to go. There we go. Okay, and then back up into this one. Okay, so there's a little triangle. And then we want to make the mouth. So you can go from one end back into the middle to the other end. back into the middle, okay, cute, all right, and then we need to make the eyes, so you could fasten off here, or you can just continue working with this straggler here, and just embroider a couple of eyes, but I'm actually going to cut this yarn, tie a little knot, okay, I'll sew in that end in a minute, but I'm going to actually make um, these French knots for the eyes, okay? So how to do that? We're going to yarn our needle with the black yarn. I'm going to put an eye right here, okay? And what we need to do is pull the yarn through, just like this. We're going to take our finger and wrap the yarn from the front of our finger to the back, okay? Just like this. Then we're going to take our needle and go from the front, right, I think that's right, from the front through this loop here. See how we have turned this and then we have this loop here. Okay, we're going to go in to that loop. We're going to go back down into our work. 
okay, right, like very close next to where we have our thing. So we want to go just a little to the left there, going in, okay, kind of pull a little tight. Okay, and then pull the other side, just like that. And we've created a little dot, a little knot. It's called a French knot. And then we can tie a little knot in the back. Just a regular knot, just like that. And then cut this like that and like that. And then we're going to make another one on the other side. Okay, so just little dots for eyes there. So again, yarn your needle. I'll show you again. Go from the back of your square to here. Okay, my other eye is going to be about right here. Okay, then we're going to pull this up. We're going to put our finger here. We're going to put this in front of our finger, like in front of this front yarn here. Kind of turn this going into this, down into our square. Just a little left to the where we uh, came up from, right in there, and go in. Pull a little tight, pull both ends. Okay. And there's our other eye. You don't want to pull too tight because then obviously it'll get wonky and weird. So you just want to pull it enough to give it a good look. Cute. That's so cute. Okay, then we're just going to cut this and then tie it a regular knot. But obviously there's a lot of little strands here and you want to hide those. So we're going to sew those in. So how do we do that? We're just going to yarn our needle with, it's going to be a lot of sewing here, a lot of sewing and ends. But we're going to go underneath this stitch here and up to the black yarn, okay, just like that, okay, and then we can trim that, okay, it doesn't have to be super long, it can be super short, because it's all knotted in there anyway, so it's not really going to go anywhere, okay, and then we're just going to go underneath one of the stitches, if you want to turn this back around so you can see that you obviously can't see where we sewed that in behind that stitch right there, okay, so then we're going to go behind the same stitch right in here, going up to the black row, round two of our crochet work here. And then I'm going to sew in, you know, a little bit more on this one underneath the stitches and then cut that and then make sure that you can't see it in the front here. And there you go. Okay. So just sew in your ends. I'm going to make this other ear. And then for the cheeks, I'm going to do the same thing I did for the dots for the eyes, making two French knots on each cheek. So if you need to, just rewind this to see how you made the eyes and make a cheek uh, with red yarn here and a red yarn here. And then I'll meet you up when I'm completely done and all my ends are sewed in. All right, so I just embroidered everything, added the cheeks here, I finished that ear, and that's what it looks like. So it looks so cute, oh my gosh, that was so much fun. And you can see my back looks silly, <laughs> it doesn't really look like anything, but that's all going to be hidden behind everything. So there you have it, number 214 Granny Square is complete. Thank you so much to Carol for allowing us to use this pattern in this project, this turned out so awesome. And if you've seen yesterday's video for the Pokeball, you could make a whole blanket using these two squares. It looks so fabulous. And for any Pokemon lover, these squares are so awesome. So thanks again for watching. Make sure to share your photos. I want to see all your Pikachus today. So have a great rest of your day. Happy August. It's so exciting. Happy August. It's a new month. And we are ready on our way to finishing this project. How exciting. So thanks again for watching. Share your photos. See you tomorrow. Happy hooking.